Hi, this is Nick Millington, leader of the Safety Task Force. I've come north of the border today, talking to you here today from Edinburgh Waverley. I've come to Scotland to meet up with the Safety Task Force team in Scotland and also the on-track plant team here in Scotland. I've got some visits planned to the on-track plant depots and I've got some nighttime site visits with our frontline maintenance teams. Come and see how I got on. So I'm out with the, um, the OHLE team tonight and we've, uh, we've dropped into Shettleston Depot in the, uh, in the suburbs of Glasgow. This is a great little facility here. Well over a hundred um, on-track plant items. So you can see behind me the, the maintenance on these items of plant. We're gonna go out in a minute and see some of the plant at work as well on the OHLE lines around Glasgow tonight. But um, the team here, the plant team are really energized and really proud. And also one thing that, um, in, in my analysis of on-track plant safety is that Scotland have got a, an accident frequency rate of half of every other region in the country. So they're obviously doing something right. And up here tonight, I can see that um, they've got a really keen and motivated bunch and they've got some, you know, some really nice plant here, uh, which, which I'm sure will keep Scotland's proud railway um, reliable uh, and, and operating safely. So yeah, well done to the Scottish plant team. We've left Shettleston Plant Depot and we're now out on site with the overhead line heavy maintenance team here. We're at Cartstyke near Greenock. We're just about maybe 30 minutes outside Glasgow. The work here tonight is overhead line heavy maintenance. There's some quite big components to change here tonight. They've got two mupes and you can see the mupes and the lights behind me here now. The isolation here tonight was delayed by um, trains that have been out stable with pantographs up so taking the isolation has taken a little bit longer than we anticipated but now we have the isolation and the machines and the components are all in situ. A long conversation with the engineer and supervisor tonight before we took the, uh, took the work site and the possession. Also had a good conversation with the COS, had a good briefing from the COS and, um, and also the, the plant operation scheme rep. And we had a long conversation about how they effectively communicate so that they keep the two machines um, separate and working coherently together with the machine controllers and the machine operators. So all in all, all good. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some, um, some overhead line heavy maintenance. The Scotland team have nearly completed a second full review of their annual maintenance plan, moving tasks into safer access. Additional protection for plan line blockages has risen to 41% for the thousand line blockages taken in Scotland every week. And the near miss frequency has improved threefold to 4.5 million hours worked between near misses. In the signing in brief, I had a, a chat with the costs. This team here are, are a mixture of works delivery and maintenance and they are using the existing safe system of work pack planning system. So they were, they were quite pleased to understand that the rail hub system uh, which will give them a much more concise way of, um, of having their safe system of work pack plan. They were pleased to know that the, um, the, the, the new system is imminent. So all in all, a good night so far. The team in Scotland have upgraded and refurbished dozens of access points and they've got more planned. Access points and separated walkways are so important. They're good for facilitating day work, which reduces fatigue. They reduce signal workload because we don't need line blockages for safe walking and they are separated from trains. So I've had a good trip to Scotland the last couple of days, really enjoyed myself. I always enjoy getting out. The plant team at Shettleston were fantastic. Took me back to me apprenticeship days. They've got some, you know, they've got a lot of plant. They've got over a hundred items of uh, on-track plant and they're really enthusiastic and passionate about doing the very best they can with their on-track plant. You'll see that today I'm wearing a mask and one of the things that's kind of struck me is that in Scotland it feels like the lockdown is, is, is much more here than it is south of the border. Mask wearing, there's a lot more people wearing masks. The teams are being encouraged to work from home and um, the streets don't seem to be so busy. And I do wonder, um, has Scotland um, um, suffered possibly because of the more harsher lockdowns and has it prevented the ability to do very high quality and regular safety conversations um, to support our team so it's just a thought from Nick and um, um, obviously Scotland colleagues no, no criticism intended um, I'm checking out here today from uh, from Glasgow Central heading south um, all the best thanks ever so much bye bye